Hey, what's going on everyone? Today is January the 7th, 2022. I'm going to here to speak on, update you all about SoFi and tell you where the buy zone is. You guys can actually see from the price chart of SoFi to where the buyers are approaching the market. And once you see them, uh, you might want to join in with them because obviously they know something that we don't know. Welcome to HFN. Before I talk about that, hit the like button, share, and also subscribe here to the channel because this is what I do. I pay attention to the money and the money is seen on the price chart. Yeah, everyone else's idea as to where they think price in SoFi is going to go is already here listed. We can actually see what the majority of the market thinks. And once you can see that, you can actually participate right alongside with them. Yeah, you can. So let me talk about what happened since my last video in SoFi and then I'm going to show you where I think the buy zone is for this stock. Now, I did a video on the 28th of December. Don't worry about it. You can check it out in my playlist. All the videos that I've done on this channel is in a playlist. Being fully transparent to show you all that you can do this for yourself. You can be assured that once you understand the market, you understand what the majority of everyone else is trying to do. All right. So check this out. Now, where do you think the buyers are at? Okay. I, I think I've already established that on my last video. You see that horizontal line on my chart, right? Yeah, that's pretty much the vicinity to where the buyers are at. Okay. Now, what do you think happened into the market in SoFi since my last video of the 28th? Do you think the market is still weak? Do you think the market is still strong? Because here it is right here. So yes, we did see the price in SoFi go up following December's 28th video, but we could not see it break above $16.50. That's how high the price went. So it tells me that, yeah, this is where the selling is really appearing into the market in SoFi. But take a look at what happened yesterday. This is the reason why I wanted to come in and talk to you all. Look at all that volume that appeared into the market in SoFi, right? Let's believe. You have to believe what you see on the chart. So we had a whole lot of volume coming to the market in SoFi, right? Let's take a look. Okay. Take a look. All this volume came into the market in SoFi. And look at where the price closed. See that? We closed off of that $13 price. Yeah, buyers came into the market in SoFi. I mean, buyers are coming into the market in SoFi. So we appreciate this information because now I know I need to extend down my support area, right? Now, it doesn't mean that we're done. It doesn't mean that the price in SoFi is done going down. No, not at all. But it gives us an idea as to where buyers could be approaching yeah okay now I'm going to extend it down to that $13 price because I I now see that the buyers are trying to keep this price elevated in SoFi okay now the question is should we get rid of this though because if the market in SoFi is going to continue to break down we need to cut the losses we need to let it go and take this 12% loss and move on or flip it over and take the other side of the trade, take the other side of the prediction. So let's look at this on a three day time frame real quick. Okay. Let's do this on a two day first. So this is the two day time frame, and I'm not really all that bullish though. I really don't see too much price volatility coming to the market and so far. I just don't. Not on the two day. This is it on the five day, right? We got eight hours and 31 minutes. What do you think the price is going to do in SoFi? It generally looks weak. Okay. Now I'm going to tell you this. You're not going to get this information nowhere else. If price in SoFi on this five day price bar does not break back up above, we need to see the price close above this level. Okay. Right around here, we need to see the price close above this $14 and like 25 cent price. Yeah, we need to see that. If we don't, then the market here is generally weak. 
right? We need to see that because if we don't, then the market is still contentiously weak. The buyers need to break its price back up above $14.25. I'm telling you this right now because if it doesn't happen, we know where we're going to go. We're going to continue to dip. This is it only weekly time frame. Two weeks. Three weeks. Look at its own hourly time frame. Okay. So right now, yeah, buyers are here. Yeah, they are. But they still have a daunting task ahead of them. They still need to make this price trade above $14.25. Okay. So now, this is what I'm going to do. This is why you have to have a plan. $14.25. I now know that the buyers need to see to it that they're able to trade it above that number. If it doesn't happen, then it tells me we need to get rid of this price prediction now and play more weakness into the market in SoFi. Yes. Let's take a look at this on a different hourly time frame first. Look at this on an hourly. Okay. So you can see that, yeah, we got some minor strength coming to the market in SoFi. But again, $14.25, we need to see the price break up above. Let me zoom out because it might need to be a little bit higher. Yeah, I would say around 15. Okay, so I'm switching it from $14.25 to $15. Price needs to break above $15. Yep, it does. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to continue to keep this price prediction here, but it is a contingent upon the market buyers bringing price above $15. If I don't see that happen relatively soon, then we will have to cut this price prediction of expecting SoFi to go up to expecting it to continue to go down. Okay. Because I definitely don't like what happened on this last 30 minute price bar in SoFi right there. So check this out. Let me cut this price prediction right here. Of around 12%, right? Let's see what we got on some weakness. Let me bring that back. Let me see what we could get in terms of seeing price go down because it's not going to be much. So just like another 5% movement for the price to come down to $13. The next level would be around 12. This is around 13% movement to the downside. And so far. So this is what I'm going to do. Okay. I'm going to keep both price predictions on the chart, right? And I know that if the market in SoFi does not break above $15, then I need to cut this play, right? I'm actually thinking about doing it now. So yeah, let me cut this play and take that 12% loss in SoFi. And I, I can see that with this weakness and us having the inability to break above $15, That we, can, we will continue to see the price dip in SoFi, okay? Bring it up just a little bit around 15.25. So now, I'm definitely watching the market though, okay, in SoFi, because I want to see the buyers appear. They came into the market yesterday, but like I said, they still have a huge task ahead of them to bring that price up above $15. If we, not, if we do not see that relatively soon, then understand that the general weakness is still here into the market is so far. Let me see this on the monthly. And this is the reason why. Okay, from a three months basis. 
this is the reason why on a two month basis so you guys can see okay generally yeah the market here in SoFi is weak but it's not extremely weak because the market has been hugging and supporting itself around $14 okay so this is it real quick let me know what do you think the market in SoFi is going to do I'm playing a weakness into the market now but again if I see price break above $15 then the demand is back in the buyers are dominating the market all right now drop me your consensus your thoughts as to what you think the price in SoFi is going to do over the next month or so month and a half where do you think price is headed all right let me know make sure you maintain the profitability and as always trade different